Anime Studio 9.5 is finally out, and so that means it's time for some brand new tutorials on the new features that this version provides. So this tutorial will focus in on the new flexi binding feature. And in the past with Anime Studio, when you would lay out your bones for your character or for whatever object you plan to animate out with bones, you had the option to do either flexi binding or layer binding. Well, with flexi binding, there was somewhat of an issue because when you placed your bones down, as I have here, and you would use these cloud regions to dictate what's manipulated with the bones, and you use the manipulate bones tool, you would run into this issue, especially if you had a bunch of bones, you know, closer together like this. You would have your arm manipulating the body. Or if you move some of the body bones, you could see that even the arm would be manipulated, even though that the region here is not touching the arm. And so it's just an issue that has been dealt with when you animate in this way. And there are ways to work around it. You could break the character apart in frame zero, separating out the bones, and then you could, you know, basically place everything separately and then put it all together when you're animating. And of course, there is layer binding, which allows you to anchor the bones to certain layers. But let's focus in now on this new feature that allows us to do flexi binding a bit more easily. So as I said, we have the character bone layer and we have vector layers underneath it and we have our bones drawn out. The first thing we want to do is highlight the bones in the arm. We'll start with each limb and then we'll go into the body. So I will click on the select bone tool and just highlight the bones in that arm. You could also use shift click to select all the bones for the arm, just as long as they're all selected. Now the next step is to click on the layer that these bones belong to. In this case, we want them to belong to this arm layer. So once you've done that, go up to bone and use selected bones for flexi binding or control shift F or command shift F if you're on a Mac. Now the goal here is to go through each limb and then of course the body. So next we'll do the legs down here. So going back here to my character bone layer, we'll just quickly select those, go here to leg two, and then control shift F. And then the same for the leg here. Making sure we're on leg one, and then control shift F. And then the arm, the uh, other arm, which is going to be a little bit harder because it's behind the character here, but the, here's my bones for that. And then click on arm two, and then control shift F, and then the body. We'll just get those selected, and then control shift F. So now every selected bone group that we assign to the layers should only affect those layers. Let's come back here to the bone layer and then take the manipulate bones tool, come in here, and you can see now we have that nice flexible bendy animation type going on, but we don't have the issue with everything being manipulated by everything else. We can kind of choose what comes in here and what gets animated out. So the legs work, the body works. Make sure this arm right here works. And we are good to go. So now you could come in here to frame one and you could do your animation if you wish. Not really sure how I'll animate this thing out. He's kind of he's kind of goofy. <laughs> but you can just kind of come in here and just start you know, doing your thing. And that's all there really is to it in regards to how this new flexi binding feature works. If, again, you feel that the layer binding kind of constrains you, and it does, there's issues with it, that's why we have patch layers and all that kind of stuff, I would definitely revisit flexi binding now because 
this new enhancement really makes it a lot easier to work with. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. If you would like more tutorials on Anime Studio, please visit my channel or you can check out IncredibleTutorials.com. I also have tutorials on Premiere, Flash, and a bunch of other stuff. Just check it out and I'll see you guys next time.